Edelman. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. There. Yeah, who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? They are down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. Brady now, 10 of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first and 10. Brady, and that's incomplete. The wideout, Chris Hogan, the intended receiver. And it's second down. Well, CD, in a couple of weeks, we can make our Super Bowl predictions. But for right now, I want to get your AFC division champion predictions. Who do you have? All right, let's start in the AFC East. It's New England. Do we need to say any more? No, I don't think so. I don't think there's a challenger behind them in that division right now. That tends to cover it. Miami believes that they can be. Buffalo will be starting over with a new quarterback. So will the Jets. How about the AFC South? I'm going to give you a surprise there. I think Houston comes back and reclaims their crowd and moves ahead of Jacksonville and Tennessee, who were both in the playoffs last year. The good health of Deshaun Watson, J.J. Watt, Whitney Merciless, Houston in a surprise pick. All right. How about the West? The West is always intriguing. Who are you taking there? One of the better divisions in football. John Gruden's back in Oakland. Kansas City has a new quarterback in Patrick Mahomes. Denver has a new quarterback in Case Keenum, plus a terrific defense. But I think the L.A. Chargers ride away with this division crown. Phillip Rivers has to get it done. Somewhat approaching the twilight of his career. And I love their pass rush with Joey Bosa and Melvin Ingram. And in the north, I'm guessing you're going Steelers. I think I have to go the Pittsburgh Steelers. Everyone else has big question marks. The Steelers have big men. And they're really upset about the way 2017 ended when they lost to Jacksonville in the playoffs. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 43. Now Burkhead. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. On the tackle, Tyron Matthew. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? yard line. It'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. New England on third down. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. This is third down and 12. Wait 20! Wait 20! And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. New England on third down. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. This is third down and 12. Throwing is Brady on third down. And able to find Decker. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. That crossing route is so effective when you hit it just right because you get a guy on the move, and then we see the end result there. Nightmare for the defense. They got a guy with a full head of steam. 
Not only does he catch it, but he picks up additional yardage after it. First down, Brady. That's caught by Gronk for a pass touchdown. Rob Gronkowski, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. So, partner, remember the offseason, all the chatter, all the people in the Boston area were wondering, would Brady be back? Would Gronk be back? <laughs> I think they're breathing pretty easy right now. See that that combination is doing just fine. The point after try for Goskowski. Extra point good by Goskowski. And the lead is up to five. A 10 play drive that time. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Koski now out to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now out comes Houston. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. On first down, Watson dumps it complete to Miller. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Shifty footwork gets him a little extra on the play. Give him six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. To throw on second is Watson. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Adrian Claymore able to get in there and take him down for a loss of three. The Patriot fans certainly happy to see Claiborne wearing their jersey this season. Obviously a good pickup by the AFC champs. And you have to go back to when Claiborne came into the league. A first-round pick with Tampa Bay. But just remember last season, six sacks in one game against Dallas. <laughs> You'll remember Adrian Claiborne's name from that point on. Who was blocking in that game? No one. The Texans on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and seven. Out of the gun, Watson. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who have had the receivers on lockdown. 
Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. It's a quick turnaround for them after the turnover, but the way they moved it on their last drive, they're probably eager to get right back at it. And you know me and you know my tendencies in this situation. What do I want right now? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Take your shot right here. So after the INT, it's Brady. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll run. This is Burkhead. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Here's Brady, and that is incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So this officially a 55-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Boy, a third miss of the game right there. By rights, they could be high and dry right now, but instead, this is still a ball game. And defensively here, you can't let this affect you. You've got to go out and do your job, not worry about someone else's. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And the interception that ended their previous drive, that might be one we look back on and say that was the turning point of this game. Hey, partner, guess what? There's still time for a few more turning points in this ball game. They're only one score down. Yeah, true. I mean, we could have some twists and turns. Stay tuned. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at the 45. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. On second down, here's Watson. And his throw here is incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver, and it's third and five. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. The Texans on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This will be third and five. Now Watson, and he fires one that's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. And now out come the Patriots. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. 
And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. They go play action here on first down. This is caught, Gronkowski. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Wait, 20! 380! Shotgun now for Brady. And that one's going to be over everybody in the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. The former Bill, Chris Hogan, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. They'll give it to him up the middle. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? They'll try and pound it in with Burkhead. What a stand so far defensively. And now that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Now, this feels like old-school football because this has turned into a good old-fashioned goal-line stand. So on offense, what do you do now? Do you decide to run it or throw it if you go for it on fourth down? So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. He's been blocked twice already. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to eight. Now from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Deshaun Watson and the Texans offense trot back out there. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Looking left sideline, incomplete. He was looking to get it to his running back, Lamar Miller. That'll bring up second down. 
Well, not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets a shoulder complete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Back to the air, Watson on second down. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Devin McCourty picks it off. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation. But sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe it. <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> They'll run it now out of the gun. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. On the run, it's Burkhead. He doesn't find a ton of space following the display of quick feet down just inside the 45. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. Now, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but works a block. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. New England on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and four. To throw is Brady. And Allen's got it! And he's going to get this inside the 30. First time they've looked his way in this game, he comes through picking up the first. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. See a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action.
New England on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This is third and ten. Wait, 20! Wait, 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 wait. Now a handoff. Here's Hill. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As he'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that will bump the lead up to 11. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. Koskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And the Texans set to come onto the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Griffin. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. The clock still runs. We're at 90 seconds now. Now Watson looking to throw on second down. Griffin's got it, middle of the field. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans. Play action for Miller. Now Watson. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. <laughs> to throw on second down. Watson. Oh, did he hang on to it? He did on the dive. Nice grab. They'll get four out of that, and it'll bring up a third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Here's Watson. The catch made by Miller. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. So still a little work to do here, but they got the much-needed conversion. So they got that taken care of. Now you would assume onside kick in order to try and get the ball back again, in order to try and kick at least a tying field goal.
So with just under 40 seconds to go, you figure this is going to need to bounce their way if they have any shot. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Brady will take a knee here, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.